I'm at level 30, not 33, but that's okay. I'm still gonna take this and I'm gonna enchant it anyways. And then I have to wait for the chickens to kind of cool down. And then after that, for the most part, I don't really need to have the chickens there. Not to that extent, because then I can go into the end and make that Enderman thing. Uh, efficiency four, I should really combine with that pickaxe back there, but oh well. So I can get up to protection three. Let's make this happen. Just protection three on the netherite helmet. That's totally okay. So now being at level 27, you know what I'm probably just going to do? I'm probably just going to go into the nether and just destroy a bunch of whoever and hope it works out because, yeah. Oh, it already has efficiency four. My bad. Goes to show how little I pay attention to literally everything. So iron is back underneath here and then after i get to the surface i want to try finding you know i don't know i, I want to try to find a village perhaps and see what the process is like for getting the villagers kind of close by not over here they are back over here and i need to really reorganize all this stuff all over again basically because it's just being more of a pain in the butt than i need it to be and i'm just so like Okay, with all this stuff, you should have, like, an order of operations of, like, what you want to get done and where things are and what order and all that. But basically, there's been so much that I've had ideas for that my mind is, you know, scattering about doing a whole bunch of things, but not in the order that they should be. And that pretty much sums up my life in general. So I should have had a checklist uh, of doing things in order, but... You know, it kind of got a little discombobulated anyways. You know, I have to go back up to the surface because I forgot the pickaxe because I forgot that I have the tombstone feature on. So all these different little things that kind of get in the way of uh, me just kind of doing things to the best of my ability. You know, you got to work with the best that you got. You know what I mean? Okay, so now that I got all this, um, you know what I'm going to do? I can't make anything gold, can I? Not with the stuff I have on me. That's fine. I have a full shield. And all that, I'm just going to get to level 30. I will be right back. These piggies. I tried making a leather farm down here with you. And you keep attacking me, all right? I'm sick of dealing with all of you, okay? And now I'm going to get some cows, and they're going to be incredibly wonderful to deal with. Instead of you rotten pigs, okay? Get out of here, you class one carcinogens. Get out of here. All of you, go. Goodbye. 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 Come on. Goodbye. One more time. I'm breaking in there. I don't even care. This was the most lackluster, uh, poorly executed idea I think I ever had. Just not, not worthwhile to do, really at all. Just a complete, complete, almost waste of time. I got a little bit of leather. Better off just, like, going through here and finding them in the wild. Like, I'm right in the biome right here, you know? So I may as well have just done this from the get-go. But, yeah. So, okay, cool. So I can just keep doing this. Man. Oops. I messed up the zombie piglin. Cover me in debris. Now I don't gotta waste my time anymore. I'm gonna get my stuff back, and I'm gonna get the- Oh, I lost all my levels! No! Oh, no! I'm just gonna go to the surface. I don't even care. I'm just gonna go. I grab this stuff, and I'm gonna go. I never have to get any other armor pretty much ever again. Ever, ever, ever again. This is it. This is the only armor I will ever need right here. Look at how much damage these zombie hoglins do. Nothing. They do nothing anymore. Look at that. Beautiful. So, okay. I stand corrected. I will need to get some sort of armor eventually if I don't get mending on this stuff. So that is going to be the next priority. Uh, probably after defeating the dragon is probably when I'm going to do that. I do not foresee myself losing durability before defeating the dragon. So, it's that time. I'm going to grab the ender pearls that are down here. The ones that are, um, the, the, you know, 
that have the, the blaze powder with them. That's what I've been meaning to say. I'm going to grab these. And those are where? Uh, no, they're, they are around. Man, I'm, I need to organize so badly. There's the pick right there. I For some reason, like, this looks similar enough to a regular iron pickaxe. I'm like, wait, hold up. What? So, yeah. These ender pearls I'm going to need, but I'm not going to need them. Uh, it, like, I'm going to still need to get a whole bunch more, right? Like, I'm nowhere near close to where I want to be with that. But I digress. These here, yes. Combine these. Yes, eyes of ender, four. Beautiful. How many? Two. All right. It's time to go. I, fun fact, I haven't edited a single episode of this playthrough. And I'm already, what day is it now? It is day... I guess I go 86. It's day 86 of this. And now I finally get to return to the surface after I think I technically started on day three because I was messing around with, uh, you know, the tombstone feature and all that. But I finally get to go back up. I am fully decked out in netherite armor. I have a diamond sword. And that was the objective all along for me to get back up here is I needed to have full netherite armor to make that happen. I have my handy dandy... Uh, iron pickaxe and now I am able to return return to the surface that was once a nuclear wasteland but now is uh, free to roam because I have the suit to protect me against the elements it literally feels like just a couple days ago that I got back up here and it basically was how did the chickens get up here how did they go up the ladder Man, y'all went up the corporate ladder to get up here. All right, sure. Okay, uh, I forget where the actual surface is. Like, which way I went? Yeah, I forget which way I went. I'm just going to dig up. I'm just going to make it happen. Over, over here? I forget. Let's go right here. Sure. I got some chickens following me all the way up here. They're like, yep, we want sunlight too, buddy. So, can't blame them. 86 days is what it took for me to get full netherite armor. Could it have been a little bit quicker? Absolutely. Was it? Absolutely not. I have really enjoyed, and I'm so close, like, okay, just because I have full netherite armor doesn't mean that the playthrough is done. Doesn't mean that it stops after I defeat the Ender Dragon. Nothing like that. This is a long-term survival series. So this is going to take me, as long as it's going to take me to just really enjoy the game and playing it, doing all sorts of random things now here's the surface it's close hitting the dirt six feet under baby let's go where's that daybreak give me that daybreak it's right here oh look at that sunlight wow feels so refreshing oh look at that cows leather finally all right yeah it, it literally feels like yesterday okay and the chickens are out we're ready to rock and roll so now that I'm at the surface here, guide me, Eyes of Ender. Where is the portal? This way. There's the crafting table from before. Interesting. Fall damage is at a minimum. You gotta love that. Where did that go? Where did that Ender Pearl go? Bees! I can take the bees down there. Nice. So yeah, the main base of operations is still underneath the surface. You know, that doesn't that doesn't change, you know? That's still where everything's at. So I think that Ender Pearl disappeared. Huh, all right. Yo, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna keep going this way. Look at that tree. That's where I was at before. Uh hi sheep. I could use your wool for sure. But I'll I'll keep going this way and uh Yeah, see if I find anything spicy. That one broke too. Huh. Do they break at they don't break after one go. Do they? They shouldn't break after one go. That's never how it's been. I had cocoa beans. I forgot about that. Never never used the cocoa. Found a village. That's cool. So this is to keep in mind for future, right? Uh I don't know how much further I gotta go, man. I've been going uh, quite a distance here. Oh, so over this way, a little bit more so. I feel like it wasn't in that this direction before. 
So I might be low-key close. I don't really know, though. Do I have any other food on me? Not, I mean, I do, but not cooked food, at least. I think it's down below. Right? So if I look... Right over here? It might be down here. Let's dig and find out. Actually, there's a little cave right over here, right? Yeah, this should be it. It should be down here. Because... Pretty, uh... Pretty spot on. In terms of, uh... Where it's gonna be at. I think we're close. That water right there? Oh, I can't- I can't make that. No way. Well, I mean, I could, but... Uh, what's the play here? Oh, do this, Brian. Don't be a dummy, right? Do this. Just like this. Here we go. So I'm about a thousand blocks away from spawn. And I'm obviously not going to defeat the Ender Dragon right this second, right? That's not my goal. My goal is to at least find the stronghold and then be able to link the two areas basically together. And then I have a nice easy way of getting from point A to point B. So hopefully I find it. See, that's the one thing I don't like about these ender pearls is that you throw them and then sometimes they're like, oh, I'm just stuck in a wall. Why does that happen? Why? I don't know where that one went. It went down. Right here. It has to be right here. It has to be. There's no way it can't be right here. It must have went down. I hate when that happens. I really do. It's like, how, how can I tell where I need to go? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to give it a break. I'm going to come back to this eventually. It's around here, but I got to dig all the way back up and do it. Yep. All right. I found it. Told you. It was right on top. But I see a skeleton. Okay. We're fully healed up and ready to go. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So now it's definitely here. So that's good, right? That is exceptionally good. One, two, three. Look at that. Nice. Is that it? <gasps> no. Oh my. Wow. I found it immediately. Wowie zowie. Look at that. Wow. With the silverfish spawner and all. Oh, I need so many pearls. So many pearls. Wow. I need 10. Or, I mean, eight, but like ten. Well, at least I know it now. Negative fourteen hundred, or fourteen hundred, negative one, six fifty-five. Wow. That's far, Batman. Look at all these knowledges. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Is there any chests around here? Perhaps, maybe. Look at all this knowledge. I don't even need to go to college to make this happen. Stellar. So now, I mean, leather who? I don't need any leather anymore, right? Basically, no. Uh, a compass and knockback two and efficiency four. Stellar. So the compass, I forget where compass, where the actual compass points to, but it points to somewhere. So, the, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a thing. So great. Now that I know where I'm going, I can get crack a lacking. So I'm going to compare... Basically where this is where the home is and the idea is to link the two right The idea is to link them both where where is it? Okay, it's right here So I need to make sure that I keep note of that it basically uh, functions the same way as before where there was a, a library right next to um, You know the portal itself, which was super helpful So yeah, I, I got chills down my spine man. I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready, but I like I'm ready so I I kind of camped out over here Made a bed, chest, uh, smelting down some chicken, uh, some robot chickens, 
crafting table and and this was a smaller area before i basically just took the stone bricks and made like a little alcove for me this is where the portal is right here and as you can clearly see i have the ender pearls ready to rock and roll but i do not have the uh the sticks to make it happen so instead of doing this the wrong way which is what we did on the bob smp we're gonna do this the right way so the wrong way was connecting the overworld location of the portal to where I was at. And instead, what I'm going to do is connect them via the nether. Because as you know, or probably know, if you connect two locations via the nether, it takes a shorter amount of time to actually make that happen. So I need to construct a nether portal, but I don't have any diamonds on me. But I could, I could go all the way back to the house from here and connect it all. But that's literally 1,800 blocks away. So, yeah. Uh, that's great. So, I'm going to basically find a diamond underneath here and all that. My name is Brian Saviano Brick. So, Brian, welcome in. I made a uh, stairway to heaven up, uh, I mean, to the surface. There's actually a village right nearby that I have not explored. I think we saw that on the way in. So, that's cool. That will be basically be how villagers are transported eventually. But for right now... That zombie is absolutely going to come down here and give me a big old mm, me a little kiss. Give me a little kiss. Come on. Come on. Kiss me. There we go. Ooh. Potato. That is such a rare drop for a zombie to drop a potato. <laughs> nice. Uh, that hasn't happened before. Cool. So now I have tapetos, which is very integral, I'll say, for the villager breeding situation. So that's cool. I can get a whole bunch of mending books that way. But yeah, what I got to do is basically just explore around here. I have made note of where the portal is by looking at this. Uh, the coordinates right down there. So I don't, I'm not going to get lost. I just got to find diamonds. So the area all around here is, uh, is pretty expansive. Not only is there the stronghold, as you've seen over here, but there's also a, uh, a, a mine shaft, which I believe is somewhere around here. Yeah, kind of, sort of. So... Diamonds should be plentiful around here. I have not explored anywhere, so I need to find enough diamonds to make that pickaxe uh, because the, the diamond pickaxe that I do have is obviously way back at the house, and it's about to, like, croak, so I can't, like, actually use it, so that's great. So that's my main mission right now. Uh, I am wearing the netherite armor, which is totally fine. It is not anywhere near close to losing durability. Maybe the boots are from fall damage, but, like, even then, it's not close. It's just that they are slightly weaker than maybe everything else. But basically, I can just do whatever I want. Um, nope, I'm not going to risk that. Hold on. Hold on. Because there's a zombie right there. And if I'm looking down, then that's the way that I'm absolutely going to just plop right off. So I can drop down here. Yoink. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I need to look carefully, okay? Because every time I look through here... I inevitably missed some diamonds, and I can't be doing that, especially right now. Uh, this looks exactly like where my uh, uh, obsidian is going to come from. I got to basically uh, make a whole new portal. So, yeah. I will I will try... What, what's the play here? I, should, I mean, obviously, I'm going to make the diamond stuff, but I don't think I need to connect the two areas right now. I just need to be able to make the portal. It's another Bowser Lake. Look at that. Cool. I just need to be able to connect the two areas. And then that'll that'll make it easily available for me to go back and get stuff. But I don't need to necessarily get stuff right this. Actually, yeah, I do. I need, like, plenty of shields and food and all sorts of things. So let me find some diamonds. I just need three. Literally all I need. So it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be that hard, right? There's a couple. Wait, one. Okay. One, two. I can grab that. One, two. There we go. Did I grab it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right, cool. There's two. I need the third. That's all I need. And then I could literally just take a water bucket and toss it right on the lake. And then boom, I'm good. Cool. There it is. I was going to say, like, how, how does this place not have enough diamonds? anywhere like oh so i i can actually i can't have you near there hold on there we go nope you need to approach me buddy here we go oh oh that's so, okay okay 
Also, my diamond sword isn't actually doing that good. I need to eventually get a new one. I'm surprised at this point it, there needs to be another crafted one. That's crazy. All right, so there we go. Uh, this is a biscuit risker. Bit of a risky biscuit over here. But luckily, yeah, if... I mean, obviously, because I have the tombstone feature, my armor is not going to burn. But even so, the netherite does not burn, which is wonderfully uh, a feature of this uh, armor set. And that's, that's like vanilla Minecraft. That's not just... Um, you know, a me thing that I had as a tweak, you know? Ooh, there's another couple. Nice. Beautiful. I'll take that. Nice. So that's a total of six, which means I can make another sword if I need to. Ooh, spicy. So I'm going to head back. Oh, actually, you know what? Can I craft it from here? No. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I have to go and find where I was. Is that more diamond over there? No, it's not. Okay. I thought for some reason those zombies right there, I'm like, I saw a little sliver of blue and I'm like, ooh. That's it. But yeah, I'm going to head back to the surface and basically find my way back. Uh, there's a little bit of gravel, like a gravel pillar that I created to basically mark my way back home. So, or I mean, back to the, the stronghold, I should say. Not home. Certainly not home. But I got to make my way back up there anyway. So give me a hot second. <laughs> 